you doing? Take a bunch of trash off that boat and put it on the Ericsson, take it back here and dump it. Might need these. We bring fins. Oh, there's that cheese we were Ready to get a move on? Ready, B? It, and then you're like, dude, I found a boat. That's what I'm saying. And you had it scheduled as soon as I got home. Yeah. And then. If this all goes south, I think it's fair for you to blame me. Honestly, that makes me feel really, really good. Yeah. Cause I will blame you. Yeah, I think it's totally dirty. <laughs> Sweet. So I don't know what this crap is. Uh, it's accumulated on the stairs. This guy got. <laughs> oh my god. Don't tell me there's not another pair in there. <laughs> oh, dude, check it out. Imagine it hurts. What's up, guys? Goggles on, goggles on, goggles. How you doing after your first hard day's work? Awesome! Take us poops. From all her yapping. <laughs> Nice job, B. Is that heavy? <laughs> By the end of day one, we had most of the boat scrubbed out and a good amount of stuff thrown away or placed in storage. The next morning, we got some exciting van life news from our good friends, Damon and Sarah. Hello. What's up, my dude? Uh -huh. What did you guys do? I just Damon and Sarah have been a huge help. They've provided us a kitchen, a shower, and have been there for us when we were stranded on the boat one night. Check out their link in the description. <laughs> days of actual boat work on sender involve stripping the existing deck hardware, prepping those holes to be filled, and the deck to be glassed.
Our method for filling holes is to overdrill the hole, which cleans out any funk and exposes good core to adhere to. Next, we countersink the hole, top and bottom, tape the underside, and we're ready to fill with slightly thickened epoxy through a syringe. Later that day, we were off to Oakland to pick up a lightly used generator off Craigslist. This will allow us to use power tools while at anchor and may actually stay on the boat long term. We also got some gas and ran some errands. We're at 80 bucks. That's like a quarter of all the money I have. Fucking gas. Sweet. How's that working out? The next day we were on to prepping the bows for fiberglass. Cleaning these areas was going to take forever, and with the combination of low temperature, high wind, and an intermittent heat gun, we were relegated to the good old fashioned task of chipping paint. As you can see we got this front section done and it probably took us about six hours <laughs> worth of scraping. Um, we're working on the second one. Our plan is to hopefully just sand the last bit of shit that's on there so we can glass it tomorrow. Final bit of sanding right before we can glass all this in. Should be sweet. In the purchase of the boat, we also got a rigid inflatable dinghy. Even with all its issues, it had been working fine. <laughs> Unfortunately, later this night, it would go missing. We still don't know what really happened to it. Dot dot dot. I'd always ride on the other side without a care. Wind blowing. Losing that dinghy was a devastating hit to our momentum and wallets. That night, Damon managed to commandeer a kayak, and I paddled the bay for an hour before the chop and the current became too sketchy. No luck. But we weren't about to let that keep us down. Lost our dinghy. I never thought of going paddling in a canoe on the ocean. Here we are. Thank you guys for watching. We're really excited to start making these videos and get started with this project. Yeah, sorry, uh, Becca couldn't be here. She had to leave for work this morning. So this is our outro to our film. And we just want to say thanks to all the bands that let us use their music and everybody that helped us along the way, especially Damon and Sarah. Uh, they got us out in a couple tight spots. Yeah, it's just been pretty interesting getting this whole thing started out here. So we're filming everything off of iPhones. We probably lost a good three to five days on just issues getting to and from the boat. Um, look for our next videos coming out. We're already starting the next one. Currently, we're actually 
two or three weeks ahead of this video already. So we're planning on having a video out every week or bi-weekly, we're not totally sure, but the next one should be out soon and we want to be regular about it. Our Instagram will always be pretty much live and up to date. Actually, so in the whole first video, his elbow's broken <laughs> or fractured in a couple places. Yeah. So if you want to help out, you can um, check out our Patreon. Help us spread the word. Because yeah. we're really just trying to reach a wide audience and kind of show people what we're doing. And we're super excited about it and we feel like more people need to know about it and see that it can be done. We got a lot of big plans for this boat. Um, if you watch our videos, you'll see it unfold. We got a lot of really cool swanky stuff we're gonna do this thing. Um, so make sure you're checking it out. <laughs> Give me a minute, I gotta text my mom about what kind of top of ramen we want. Shout out to the moms out there. Buying their dirtbag kids flats of top ramen. Shrimp, oriental, and beef. Let's get more tuna. Dude, oh, yeah, oriental. Mm -hmm. If they don't have oriental, you should get shrimp. Wait, you already said shrimp. Shrimp, oriental, and beef. You don't like chicken? I guess it's just like salt flavor. Yeah, it's just like everyone has chicken, so I feel like I more chicken than any of the other ones combined. Yeah, you go to your friend's house and you eat a lot of chicken top ramen. Is that a knock? <laughs> <laughs> Did I well, do that? Well, just, no, it was just funny because you're like, everybody has chicken. Well, I feel like that's the most common flavor. Oh,